now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all you needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the Mike Wagner Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with two wonderful gentlemen, one living out in the um, North Carolina mountains and the other living in Florida as well, too, spending some time in Atlanta and just touring all over. These guys just have a great synergy about them, and they run a company called Synergy Life Science. You can find them at SynergyLifeScience.com, and of course, it's a health and wellness company focused on development and production of unique, high-quality natural ingredients, and we'll talk about that, and of course, you know, the, the subject about, um, you know, CBD, hemp, and um, everything that's been going on. And they'll tell you about the benefits of it, the myths, and, you know, what's really good about it, and some alternatives, and just simply how to uh, live better. So live, ladies and gentlemen, living proof that they're living fantastic, and they're very happy to see us from coast to coast, live, ladies and gentlemen, in perfect synergy and giving us life, Zachary Hudson and Chris Daniel. Gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> Thanks for having hey, us. Hey, Mike. Thanks so much. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure as well, too. So you guys um, have a company called Synergy Life Serv- Science, which is um, on the web as well, too. You're a health and wellness company and focus on development pro- production of unique, high-quality natural ingredients used to positively impact the health of consumers and you've been doing this for uh, quite some time and um, we'll be talking about uh, some of the things you also focus on hemp CBD and um, some of the other things you guys use and um, you know just give us some specifics and before we get into all that um, tell us how you guys met and how you guys started the company it's a great question well we met through a variety of interesting circumstances people we wouldn't normally have uh, met we ended up being being introduced to. Um, most of my career, Mike, has been spent in the regula- regulated spaces industry and consumer products. And um, so uh, after about 25 years of work and innovation, developing new molecules that um, affect both um, the personal care as well as the OTC and pharmaceutical markets, um, you know, at, at a very young age, I found myself in a position where my wife became very ill. And so uh, a company that I formed, I, um, I found myself quickly moving off full time uh, status and into uh, just a board position and trying to really identify what was going on with my wife's health. And um, you fast forward a few years and my wife is doing wonderful. I'm proud to uh, report much of that has to do with the reason why we're in the industry we're in today. And, uh, you know, we can talk specifics on on, uh, on her condition and stuff, but um, I just know it's been a wonderful uh, blessing for us to meet each other. We have similar passions and um, and we complement each other so well. My regulatory experience, Zach's experience, and we have a lot of agricultural experience on our team as well. That's amazing, too. And uh, Zachary, tell us about uh, your story and how you got started. Yeah, I, uh, you know, in as far as the, the hemp and cannabis industry, it's been about 14 years of experience now that I've been uh, dabbling and, and diving deep. And, uh, you know, it was through actually a, 
a friend of my father's that I've, you know, grown up with his kids and known him almost all my life, um, who's the CFO of our company. Uh, he's got, you know, a family farm out in Arkansas, 25,000 acre, you know, cotton farm that's been, you know, almost a century um, of operation and is, you know, a leader in, in various aspects of the industry. And uh, he was interested in growing some hemp there. And so called me up and, you know, I had started, you know, a few years prior um, a company in Tennessee. We were the first uh, hemp company licensed to manufacture products in Tennessee, and we we're proud of that. And we're rocking and rolling. And uh, yeah, I got you know, reached out from Richard and said, "Hey, you know, I'd love for you to take a look at my farm and see about you know cultivating some hemp." And so went out there, took a look at it, um, and then ended up getting on some conference calls with Chris and um, another project that was in the making and. The synergy between Chris and uh, and Richard and myself just started uh, evolving and, and and expanding so quickly that it made sense for us to to branch off and create our own company and um, dive deeper with our backgrounds. And you know, I uh, my grandmother was diagnosed with cancer uh, about nine years ago, and she kind of blew us all away by going, you know what, I want to try an alternative route. You know, I don't want to go the main the mainstream, and we were thrilled about that because you know she was almost ninety, and and it was wow. you know I was concerned, you know, so was able to uh, to utilize some of the connections I have in the industry because at that point in time where she was, it wasn't legal for her to take anything, you know, hemp or cannabis related. Um, so was able to uh, get her to a space where she could uh, benefit from those products and amazing results and uh you know that really helped fuel me understanding you know the real benefits and, and needing to continue to make something to get to her because you know there's so much that the wild west as it's called is is very accurate and you know i wasn't going to give something to my grandmother that i didn't believe in and so that kind of fueled me to start my first you know, hemp company and then i've just been evolving since then needing more science backing um, for these products which is what you know really drew me to chris when we first met and started chatting is I would, you know, have an idea and, you know, be able to share with him. He'd go, oh, yeah, we can do that. No problem. I know exactly how to do that. I'm like, oh, man, I've been looking for you for so long. <laughs> so, yeah, it really created this this great foundation with, you know, his everything with his wife and stuff with my grandmother and, you know, just really having that human element to it of, you know, doing it for, you know, something more than just making money, really being able to come in and, and bring some um, some integrity to the industry and bringing some backing with science uh, into this industry because it's really needed because there's a lot of uh, a lot of people out there doing it the wrong way um, and people that want to do it the right way they just don't necessarily know how or have the resources so that's one of the things that's that's great about us is that you know we are creating raw ingredients for companies. Uh, someone who doesn't have the resources can come to us and we supply them with the ingredients to make their own products, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. It does sound fan fantastic as, as well, too. And uh, what sets you guys apart from the rest of the company or from the competitors, I should say? That's a great question, Mike. You know, um, we uh, start with the fact that we have um, – been researching um, different technologies, different approaches, and have uh, really gained a great understanding of what the CBD molecule is. And then when we compare to see what's out there in the market, how it's labeled, how it's claimed, there's a lot of discrepancies between what CBD really is and what most consumers think it is. And um, and and for me, being uh, coming from the regulated industries. Um, you know, background, I, I just feel like we need to bring truth into this market and help explain uh, to consumers, you know, exactly what CBD is, how it will, you know, uh, benefit you and what we can and can't say, you know, um, and that's that's when when there's confusion to be expected whenever you take a crop that's been agriculturally grown here in the U.S. for over a century for industrial purposes, and then we introduce it to a regulated language. There's bound to be confusion, misunderstanding. What's what's an F, what's FDA? What's what's GMP? What, what is a weigh room? And all these different things and how we process and manufacture products to make sure they're of the ultimate purity and and uh, the formulations are. are dialed in on exactly what the consumer needs so um that's our focus and another thing that sets us apart that i think is really important and, and one of the things that i kind of got into a wall with with my prior company was 
it seems as if most people approach the CBD industry as a, as a one size fits all. You've got a CBD diluted in an oil that's hydrophobic, that's supposed to get into an endocannabinoid system within your body that's water based. So you've got an oil getting into water and without the proper you know form to actually get that to where it needs to go. So one of the things that I am excited about and sets us apart uh, is that we are on the, the cutting edge and always pushing the, the advancements and innovation and different delivery systems and different ways to get the cannabinoids or whatever it may be, because we're not just a CBD company, get those to the place they need to go before they're going to be metabolized in a certain area that's maybe not designed to properly metabolize them um, or uh, get there with in fully intact so you get 100% of what you're actually taking. So, you know, that was one of the things that when we started this company, Chris and I started brainstorming. I was, you know, bringing up, like, for instance, if you, you know, have a dog and that dog needs to hold something under their tongue, how's that going to happen? You know, you just got a really well-trained dog, you know, <laughs> you're going to mm-hmm. hold a tongue dog. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, just squirt it on there. Yeah. Gucci, so, Gucci, come on. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. So, you know, really taking a, a, an approach of going, okay, how can we really tailor everything to these different individuals, whether they be human or animal to really get the benefit and, and the, all the benefit that possibly can, uh, could be gotten out of the product versus a percentage and then the rest of it's going to have to be you know processed through a certain part of the body that you know might tax the body so that's one thing that sets us apart too is that we really are, are focused on multiple different delivery systems so that uh that everybody can really benefit that is amazing too we'll talk about uh the differences like with uh cannabinoids cbd and um also hemp and everything else you listen to the mike wagner show at the mike wagner show.com powered by sonic web studios visit online at sonic web studios.com for all your needs look at a professional website without breaking your budget sonic web studios is the answer sonic web studios offers fast affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away call today at 1-800-303-3960 that's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonic web studios.com mention the mike wagner show get 10 percent off your first order sonic web studios take your image to the next level also the mike wagner show can be heard on the mike wagner show.com you can check our facebook page at facebook.com slash the mike wagner show you can download and listen on facebook soundcloud spreaker spotify and iheart radio also on anchor fm radio public itunes google play apple and more take the mike wagner show with you on any mobile device subscribe to the mike wagner show on the youtube channel also follow the mike wagner show on instagram and twitter today we're here with Zachary Hudson and Chris Daniel from Synergy Life Services, and um, they're speaking to us from uh, separate locations, but they have such great synergy, um, you know, coming together today here on the Mike Wagner Show, and, um, you know, just breaking down some of the things here about, um, we talked about uh, cannabinoids and also CBD and also hemp, so maybe you can just explain to audience in particular, what is CBD? Sure. Um, so CBD is, is one of the various cannabinoids that are possible to be um, extracted in a multitude of ways from the cannabis plant. And so cannabis is, is the family that the plant is in. It either is going to be um, considered medical marijuana or it's going to be considered hemp. And what really identifies those two as being what they are is going to be the level of THC which THC is the psychoactive cannabinoid that um, can be extracted from the plant. So if, you're, if the THC level is above three-tenths of a percent, which is the federal limit right now, then it's considered oh. marijuana. If it's under three-tenths of a percent, it's considered hemp. So, you know, for instance, a, a medical marijuana plant may have you know, 60 to 80 percent THC. Versus, versus a hemp plant that's, you know, under three-tenths of a percent. So it's not something that, uh, it, you know, you're going to be getting high from, uh, you know, as, as they say. Um, it, it's more the medicinal side of things or the industrial side of things. So the plant itself, not only having the two classifications of marijuana and hemp, it also has uh, a male and female expression, whereas the female is going to produce what you would call a flower or, or the bud, which contains the majority of the cannabinoids, whereas a male plant is going to be taller, thinner, not as many branches, um, and that's going to be really the industrial side of things where you can get your building materials, your plastics, your um, textiles, ropes, um, things of that nature, which is really you know the majority of the reason the hemp plant has been utilized in this country. Um, so 
Yeah, it really comes down to THC is the main factor right now of what determines what. But yeah, cannabinoids, there's about 113 cannabinoids right now that are recognized, um, one of which is CBD, one of which is THC. Um, there's, there's 113 of them. So that's one of the things, you know, here at Synergy Life Science that we are exploring as well as uh, combining different cannabinoids into um, uh, different ratios and different products to see how those synergies can benefit. You know, I think that we're really at the tip of the iceberg right now of what this plant has to offer um, and what different cannabinoid combinations can offer as well. And it, it, everybody's different, you know, so CBN might be good for you, Mike. Where mm. CBG, you know, might be great for um, for Chris or myself. Mm. So, you know, everyone has a, a different uh, way that they're going to process these cannabinoids, and it's very exciting to see what we can do in the future. Really, explain what is CBN and CBG. I never heard of it. Yeah, they're uh, they're less known, less researched cannabinoids, um, but you know, each one has its own uh, various components um, that benefit different things, and some of them are are precursors to another cannabinoid that once they're heated um, to a particular temperature, then it'll convert like to, um, like a CBD. Um, CBD and THC both have a, a, a what's called a, an A, the CBD or THCA that once heated converts to CBD. So there's a lot of different uh, things going on there. Uh, but, you know, really, as far as the benefits of the other cannabinoids, it's still barely scratching the surface of what's really out there. Because, you know, one of the things in the industry right now is that everyone's so focused on CBD that it's so much of a smashing grab right now. It's like, make a product, how fast can you get it out there and make the money? You know, mm. not necessarily going, well, you know what, there's this other cannabinoid that may not really have a whole lot of benefit, but let's spend a million dollars and find out. You know, mm -hmm. people aren't really wanting to do that right now, but it, it also could be, you know, the, the next best thing that's, that's better than CBD or the combination of those two is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so it, you've got to have the, the desire to really be making something that's going to be benefiting people versus, you know, just chasing the dollar. Um, now, 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 talking about CBD, CBN and uh, CBG, what are the other, um, you know, combinations out there like maybe CBA or CBC or CBF or what are some of the other, um, you know, combinations out there? Yeah, good question. Um, there is really there's so many out there that they haven't all necessarily been even named. Um, it's it's still uh, being discovered and explored. Um, but CBG, CBA, CBN, um, CBD, THC, um, CBG, those are the main ones that people are, are focused on right now and actually isolating so that they can be infused into various products. So, but as far as any uh, data on what those do, it's pretty small right now. Um, so everyone's mainly, you know, staying focused on CBD and what that can do. But that's one of the things that, you know, where we're coming in is, you know, being a unique um, isolations company as well. You know, we're very excited about what these have to offer because before, you know, someone really researched CBD, we didn't know what it did. You know, I, I saw a, an actual prescription from the, the early 1800s that stated it was the doctor saying, you know, have your child chew on the stalk of the hemp plant and oh, it will really? help with his seizures. Wow. Uh, yeah. So, you know, he, that was so crude at that point in time that, you know, he didn't tell why. Oh, because there's, you know, high amounts of CBD in there, which now we know are, you know, assist with seizures. He didn't know. He just knew that you chew on it and it helped. You know, so that's kind of where we are with these other cannabinoids is, you know, we don't really know, but uh, we're, we will know. You know, mm -hmm. and there's also um, things called terpenes, which terpenes are kind of the, the flavor profile of, uh, of the plant, which, you know, kind of gives it its name and then, you know, is kind of its uh, its floral properties. But those terpenes have great benefits as well. So in, incorporating those into products as well as something is, that we're exploring and it shows a lot of promise. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the issue as well, too, with CBD and uh, some people, you know, taking it work. And there's been cases where people have taken CBD and then drug tests, they end up getting fired or some. Is there like a CBD out there that will still allow you to take it but yet be safe in the workplace? 
Absolutely. Um, good question, because that's something that's, that's dear to my heart. And, you know, I, it's a shame that there's not more education around this, because <laughs> even when I listen to news stories, sometimes it blows my mind of how little the, the individuals know about what they're even talking about in these stories. Um, but CBD, a lot of times when you have a product that's considered a CBD product, what's not really explained there is that Although the, the main active ingredient or the main active cannabinoid is CBD, that could be what's either considered a full spectrum, which is going to be all 113 cannabinoids, or it's going to be a broad spectrum, which is all the cannabinoids minus the THC or trace, very, very small trace amounts of CBD or of THC, I'm sorry, or it's going to be a, a CBD only, which has no other cannabinoids, just the CBD. So if you're taking a full spectrum that's got all of those cannabinoids, even though you've got a three, you know, less than three tenths of a percent of THC, if you take that several times a day over a period of a couple of weeks, it can start accumulating in the body. And if you're taking a pass fail drug test, you can fail that. Um, and it has happened to many, many people. And it's gotten to a point where people are trying to rate, you know, uh, uh, advocating to raise the THC um, limit so that it's high enough that it becomes more aware in the labeling and things so people know you know what they're going to be taking versus like the product that, that we have here at Synergy Life Science which is a CBD only there's no other cannabinoids in it so there's no trace amounts of THC or anything it's just CBD in that product you could take all day and it wouldn't uh, wouldn't cause you any challenges when it came to drug testing. So, yeah, I think it's really necessary and it's important for people to understand to really pay attention to the labeling of what they're taking. Because although it says CBD, there may still be some amount of THC in there that can cause you problems over you know long extended periods of of, of taking that. So, mm. yeah, good question. That is amazing too. You talked about the uh, percentage of THC, like say three tenths, considered. Um, what was that considered um, marijuana? And then like uh, the, you know, less than that would be considered um, hemp or so. Um, how yeah. is it scientifically measured if it's like three tenths or two tenths according to federal law? How is that scientifically measured? I think that's a really great question. Um, and um, it's probably one of the biggest challenges the industry faces, too. Um, you know, this 0.3 percent maximum level of THC, Mike, actually uh, begins with the crop before it's harvested. So um, the states are required to send out um, testing um you know, you, uh, people that would um, would test the plants and then submit them to third party labs or have testing equipment to test for THC levels. Um, it normally takes two to four weeks to get these test results back. Um, if the um, the plants growing in the ground meet or are compliant with that, you know, 0.3 percent maximum amount of allowable THC then they can continue to harvest and process and, you know, carry the product forward. If not, then uh, depending on the state you're in, you have to dispose of the crop or it has to be burned or, or destroyed. Wow, that is something. And what states are, are, are considered the most lenient when it comes to that? And what states are the most strict? Mm. An interesting question. That's a good question. They're all pretty strict. Um, I, I haven't really... Um, from my experience, I haven't found any state that's lenient <laughs> on that because they're, you know, heads on the chopping block when it comes to, um, you know, to upholding those regulations. And so uh, almost too much. There's been some some times when um, counties and different states have gotten a little overzealous and thought they had something that they didn't. And, you know, made big crackdowns on stores and whatnot, only to find out that they really were legal products because, uh -huh. uh, you know, had been tipped off by someone who didn't know what they were talking about or something like that. So, um, you know, all, all the states are, are doing uh, a good job from my perspective of upholding the, the federal laws. And not only because they're, you know, federally it's legal, but each state has their own uh, rules and regulations of, of what's allowed and what's not allowed. Um, so it's, it's been interesting to see how each state kind of puts their own twist on um, how to benefit people and how to benefit farmers. Because, you know, at, at the end of the day, this is a plant. You know, it's a plant that is uh, offering a lot to humanity. 
and it, it you know we really need to take care of our farmers and so i'm pleased to see how the states are, are, are making this possible for farmers to be involved in a crop that uh, really benefits and has a financial gain um, to assist the, you know these these working individuals that do so much for us that we you know, i think a lot of times we take for granted you go to the store and pick something up and you don't think about what all it took to get that there Mm. Uh, so, you know, whatever we can do to benefit the farmers is incredibly necessary. So, yeah, states are doing a good job. And, and you know, n- no state is, from my experience, is more strict or less strict. Um, they're all, you know, talking together. And there's there's national organizations where all the states link together and can discuss and uh, and come up with new rules and regulations as well. So, yeah, it's it's, it's, evol- it's kind of evolving all the time as, mm. you know, the... I, you know, I saw a thing earlier today that was saying, um, you know, 89 percent of Americans are wanting to legalize uh, cannabis, medical marijuana nationwide. So, you know, I think the, ch- the rules are changing um, by the demand of the people as well. Mm-hmm. And, of course, you have a great product line as well, too. We'll talk about that. You listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit our line at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewidenershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with Synergy Life Science, Zachary Hudson, and Chris Daniel talking to us um, right here from different portions of the uh, states here on the Mike Widener Show. Just give us a lot of great information about the company and, um, you know, explain what hemp is, cannabinoid, CBD, and also um, the legal aspects and just all kinds of CBD. We're getting a lot of information about it. And, of course, there's more to come. And you've got some great products out there. And um, tell us about your uh, wonderful products on uh, Synergy Life Science. Excellent. Well, um, you know, let me start, Mike, by um, just tagging on that um, there's some misnomers in the market that uh, that are important for us to bring uh, truth to consumers in. You know, most people think of CBD as an oil in its form. Um, most people, you know, 52 or so percent of the market will take it by tincture. Uh, which is, you know, the oil substance that we put under our tongue and try to hold it there to get the best result. Um, However, I will tell you, CBD is not an oil. And this is really a a game changer in a precedent setting situation. CBD is an active component that exists in the hemp plant. And when it's extracted or goes through an extraction process, CBD, like all the different cannabinoids in the plant, are concentrated. And when they're concentrated, as soon as they come out of the processing, uh, the extraction equipment, is more like a a syrupy, a pine rosin type of, uh, pine sap type of look to it. And it has to be stabilized immediately in order for it to be um, prevent any bacteria or any unwanted um, impurities to... um, to enter into the uh, product. So um, CBD oil is really the means of taking CBD and optimizing how um, it tastes, how it delivers through your mucous membranes in a carrier oil. Mm. And, and why I bring that up is because it's it's really unprecedented in any market. If you think about um any uh, topical ingredient, let's say uh, salicylic acid, which is used for uh, treating acne. Well, if we put salicylic acid in an oil, it doesn't automatically adopt the oil to its last name. It doesn't become salicylic acid oil. It just mm-hmm. becomes solubilized in oil. Same, you know, the same thing applies here, where we have. Um, a Schedule 5 drug ingredient on the federal level. And it's important to note that because um, regardless of what each state currently um, suggests and what their laws are trying to promote, which is 
all directionally correct. As it stands today, um, CBD is still a Schedule 5 drug, and um, it needs to be managed as the true pharmaceutical that it is. So all of our processing and all of our uh, manufacturing work is done under what they call GMP, or Current Good Manufacturing Practices, which allow us to ensure the purity, the quality, and the consistency of the product time and time and time again. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, from there, we take the oil, um, understanding that it's not an oil, what we're doing that makes us unique. And this has been a pretty big couple of weeks for us because we just got our first round of patents um, issued. And um, so uh, literally, we are now capable of rebuilding the, um, a, a true CBD oil from the composition of the hemp plant. Those different cannabinoids that we talked about earlier that are being discovered and starting to be explored contribute to you know, the benefits of, the, um, of CBD and the overall hemp plant. When we take portions of that plant and we um, use a process, we're able to put um, different components back together that create oil-like substances that are naturally occurring and much more effective to, uh, than, than a CBD that's been diluted in a carrier oil like a coconut oil or a fractionated coconut oil mct often it's often called so um and and i want to just add to you that uh you know, we take this very seriously i mentioned our, our first grouping of patents we have patented technology that's applied to our grows uh, that helps us helps farmers and us benefit by getting the most cbd per acre so we're not offering we're not only offering farmers a cash crop but we're offering them the capability of optimizing um, you know, the profitability per acre um, of CBD that they'll have out of that crop. And then we take that crop and we convert them into raw materials. And those raw materials Zach mentioned earlier, those are part of our patented um, products and they create very unique uh, pathways for us to have our next generation CBD consumer products out there, whether they're water soluble beverages or whatever. But we wouldn't be able to get to these next generation forms if not through our own oil, our own unique oil that is uh, much more effective and then all the derivatives that we're making and patenting from it. That is interesting. Of course, I was going to get to the part about the water as well, too. And, of course, it's not just ordinary water, you know, just like a really specific type, like the purification process. And um, you know, it's got to be like, you know, something in the water, as they say. Yeah, as they say. <laughs> always something in the water, you know. <laughs> uh, Lots of things in the water. That's right. right. And, yeah, the, and, water, and, the water technology. Oh, go ahead, Mike. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Yeah, the, the water is something exciting for me, and, and Chris and I both, you know, are, are real big on hydration. I've, you know, made a commitment in my life to only drink spring water, and it's been almost 15 years that I had, and tap water hasn't passed my lips in, in 15 years. I'm dedicated to spring water and, you know, getting the, the benefits of the trace minerals that are there and water that's, uh, you know, more structured in a way that is easier, it's kind of softer, easier water for our bodies, and so... That uh, and, and Chris, you know, shares the passion of hydration from his background with with skin health. You know, the hydration is so important. Most uh, most people are dehydrated and don't know it. Um, so we have been, you know, real blessed to uh, to get to utilize this patented water technology that brings a, a whole new level of um, of efficacy to our products and uh, a new level of energy in each drop of water that uh, makes it easier to get whatever is within that water to where it's supposed to be while also, you know, phenomenally hydrating the body. So, yeah, we've got a couple of products that we're in the process of um, uh, going through stability testing and, and preparing um, that will be coming out in, in a line called Skin Health Hemp that we're excited about. You'll see some press releases about that before too long, and we'd love to get you some of that to explore, Mike, and um, and your listeners as well. Um and yeah, so we, we've got that coming, which is really exciting. And, and we've got um, some various topicals that, uh, that are not infused with CBD, but utilize this water um, and some other phenomenal ingredients that we're excited about um, that, are, that are coming real soon as well within the next week or so. Um, but uh, we've got 
there's so much that can be done with this water, you know, just yeah, constantly yeah. in the, in their R and D phase. Uh, Chris is jumping at the bit to talk. I'm going to stop. <laughs> oh no, no. I, I get excited too, Zach. That's the thing. I mean, uh, it's a shared passion. It's a shared synergy. You know, the truth is, is that now there's more that can be done with water than we can even imagine right now. And, as much as we'd love to share, you know, the breadth of what that looks like today, Mike, um, some of the patents that we have um, filed are provisional and, um, you know, we can only discuss on our confidentiality agreements and things like this. But, you know, in a general principle, um, energy can be transferred through a multiple of mediums, a multiple of mediums. It's not just water. This process can go beyond water into um, you know, into other minerals and specific things that will will be charge or, or energy receptors and transmitters as well that give a positive um, low energy. Um, well, I shouldn't say low energy. They give you a positive energy and influence your body in many significant ways. I've wow. heard it. I've heard it stated a few different times but theoretically we're delivering about five times the amount of oxygen to your brain in 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 the water when we when we supercharge it so to speak and uh you know it's not a caffeine type of a thing it's just it helps with mental awareness and being awake and trying to um look at things from different angles i tell you it's been a game changer for me personally and i am so excited about being able to share it with the world yeah, I'm jumping at the bit. So sorry, I jumped on you a little. Bit. There's that. <laughs> no, 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 you're good. It's you know, it, uh, Chris and I both have you know loved ones um, that have had challenges, and the way that this water has benefited them when it comes to pH and energy levels, it's just been oh, incredibly and encouraging and exciting. Because you know, there's nothing like seeing someone you care about suffer, you know, and, and be challenged. So it's really exciting to do something that is helping our loved ones already and then being able to bring that to the masses is really exciting and something that you know feels good when I lay my head on my pillow at night and go man this is this is the tip of the iceberg of of so much greatness right now and feel really blessed to be a part of it and excited to have the the minds and the backing to continue to research it and you know with our FDA approved you know testing facility we can test things right away and and see what you know they're really capable of so it's a great yeah great combination that we've got going on here it sounds like you got a great combination besides the skincare products you have in the future what else do you have in in the future in terms of uh, the company it's a great question mike uh zach you want to <laughs> sure you wanna... yeah that that's a great yeah it is a great yeah. question there's um again there's there's things that i wish that i could say that that, that i can't um but you know the for me and, and for us, you know, there's there's so much to come. That there's a lot of things coming out. There's a lot of people focused on um, on things that you know several years ago may have sounded like science fiction, it may have sounded like you know mumbo jumbo, um, but are now you know getting uh, you know backing and, and and people are really studying these things. So there's a lot to be done um, in the world of, of energy and, and frequency. And so there's some exciting things that, that we're exploring. Um, and, you know, I, I can honestly say that we are, are not even clear on what all can be done with, mm-hmm. with what we've got uh, at our fingertips. And that's the exciting portion of R&D for us is that, you know, we know what we know. And we're always learning new things once we're in the lab playing with stuff and go, oh, my gosh, this is here we go. This works. Or, you know, have a dream or be in, you know, in a a time of, um, you know, daydreaming and think of something and then be able to play with it in the lab and go, wow, yeah, this this works. So, you know, what the what the vision looks like down the road product wise for us um, is really wide open. And I would you know, I'm. I feel more like it'll be guided by what's needed. You know, what is the, what are the humans, you know, on this planet need? What are the challenges? Because for us, it's not about, you know, um, trying to make something that's a really hot buzzword right now. And we're going to capitalize on, you know, making the money off of that niche for a certain period of time. It's, you know, what's needed? What, what are people being challenged by? You know, and, and anxiety is one right now and, you know, depression and um, inflammation and all these different ones, which, you know, are things that we're in the process of 
being able to actually say that, you know, CBD can do um, and start exploring because, you know, the way the FDA is, is we've got to have hard proof that something can, you know, can actually happen before we can state it. So what that looks like product wise, I'm really excited about. And I don't know, you know, where we will see. Um, but I know that there's going to be um, going to be some really unique waters that we're going to come out with with this oh, technology. There's wow. a lot of things that uh, th- this water, due to the form that it's in, is very good at it holding different ingredients and delivering those ingredients. So there will definitely be a, a, a large breadth of, of various water products that uh, are going to have a multitude of benefits, one of them being you know, extreme hydration. Um, so that's exciting uh, on the on the product side, and you know, as a, on a grander side, outside of products, you know, we're we are all very focused and, and very passionate about humanitarian and environmental um, give back as well. So it's something that we um, we continue to to bring from our prior companies, bring that experience into where we are now because. You know, we're really as strong as as we are as a family, you know, and we are our global family is, you know, more than ever, I feel like really needs to pull together and support one another. So outside of products, um, you know, we're we're looking to use our our platform and and use our notoriety to be able to bring awareness to things and support those in need um, Mm -hmm. as much as possible. That is that is fantastic. Looking forward to having you guys on again soon and uh, keep us up to date. I love what you got. I have to say that. Thank and you. Uh, just a couple more things, guys. Um, Zachary Hudson and um, Chris Daniel of Synergy Life Services. Just a couple of things. Um, what do you consider your biggest influences in your careers? Go for it, Chris. That's an interesting question. You know, uh, Mike, we live in a world where people are hurting, um, you know, where natural disasters are, are literally devastating small countries and islands. And, um, you know, you talk about what does the future look like? You know, we very much want to be involved as part of the solution in bringing clean water to countries um, to, that, that don't have that luxury today. Um been on uh, different mission trips we both have in our lives and that is a huge need around the world um, to bring clean water um, to uh, multiple different third world countries Um, in a previous uh, capacity I was on a board of a nonprofit that was called impact mission to provide a cleaner tomorrow and we set up we were sitting here in the in the middle of the hygiene industry and uh, seeing that um, in many countries that uh, the number one contribution to death in children is cleanliness the ability to stay um, to, to, to you know be to stay clean and uh, have clean drinking water so um, we have shipped millions of bars of soap to over 38 different countries um, wow. in that project. And that project lasted about six or seven years. And so in a similar way, we're excited about bringing and trying to be part of the solution that brings clean water to these countries and establishes a better quality of life for people everywhere. That's amazing. And Zachary, who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? Hmm. That's a, a fantastic question. You know, I think it's hard for me to separate career and, and personal life uh, because uh, I'm just I'm so passionate about what I do. And, you know, I have I've been constantly focused on, you know, marching to the beat of my own drum. You know, I, I haven't done anything because uh, it I felt in forced to do it or felt like I needed to do it. I did it because I was called to do it. And so, you know, I. It's really hard to put a, put a finger on on one person. I guess I would say probably my, my biggest influence would be my heart and mm-hmm. and what my heart tells me. I, I'm very committed to to listening to what my heart has to say and being guided um, because there's there's so many different <clears throat> paths out there that we can take and there's so much chatter that can get in the way of hearing what we're really here to do. And, and I'm very focused on on a purpose that is clear to me. Um, as long as I stay clear and stay um, committed to to following what I hear. So, yeah, I have to say that that little voice uh, within my heart that, you know, is telling me 
um, you know, the, the various things that are needed on this planet. And, you know, for me, it's I'm a vehicle of service. I'm here to serve in whatever they, way that looks like today. And in this moment right now, it's, it's to be talking to you. And I'm excited to be here and doing that. So, you know, it's hard to put a person on. And I think the only person I can say is, say is me by just staying surrendered to, um, you know, what I'm called to do. That is fantastic. And lastly, what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Mm. Mm, that's a great. Besides, question. besides being a good question. <laughs> yeah, 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 well, yeah. you know, um, the best advice we can give to people right now is understand we started in CBD because there is a lot of um, reason to be confused. There's a lot of um, there is a lot of product out there that shouldn't be, um, and it doesn't take. You know, a rocket scientist, all you have to do is Google or go to FDA.gov and you can have Google alert, or you can have like the same, the equivalent of the FDA's version of Google alerts pop up on anything area of interest that you want to know what's going on. And I encourage people to follow what's going on in the CBD world. 2,677 warning letters or plant closures in the past several months. You know, it, it tells you that there are people out there that are not doing it right. And, um, you know, when the dust clears, we'll still be standing because that's one thing this company will not do. And we will never put a, a customer's safety um, in, in harm's way. And everything we will do will be to the highest standards. That so. is fantastic. And Zachary, best advice you can give to anybody at this point? I would say the best advice is um, don't lose hope. And and believe in yourself. You have something to offer, no matter what may seem like is is you know um, telling you that that's not the case. Look in the mirror and uh, and know that you have something to offer. And not only do you have something to offer, you need to bring it to the world, or else we're not going to be as great as we can be. That is fantastic advice. And Zachary and Chris, you guys have been fantastic. Thank you very much for your time. You've been wonderful. Again, Zachary Hudson and Chris Daniel from Synergy Life Science. And uh, once again, tell us um, how they how they can contact you, where they can uh, check out your products, and um, and what's your website? Yeah, SynergyLifeScience.com um, is the best way to, to get in touch with us. You can fill out uh, our email form there. Put in the subject line, um, your show, Mike, and we'd love to get some coupon codes to anybody who's interested in testing out the product. Um, and, and soon to come, you'll, uh, you'll see our, our Facebook and our uh, Instagram, and all the social medias. You know, we're, we're focused on doing it right. Um, so we're getting all of uh, all those platforms ready for launch. Our website's the best way right now, SynergyLifeScience.com. Mm-hmm. Mike, thanks so much. It's been a pleasure. I really appreciate it. And thank you, guys. And thank you, guys. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to you having again soon. And do us a favor. Keep this up to date. We love to have you back on. You both have been fantastic. <laughs> well, thank you, awesome. Mike. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. 